Mr. Pop makes more skill work for work. More time when you rock it, I can go on the all right, Free, so uh, we've been noticing that you had some issues with um, with your kidney and your health and stuff like that. Can you just tell everybody what uh, situations you've been going through and symptoms for those that may be ignoring uh, warning signs? Well, um, probably a few months back, I was feeling real fatigued, like a little tired. You know, I travel a lot, so I thought it might have been coming from me traveling or uh, working, overexerting myself, but that wasn't the issue. I went to my primary care physician and uh, did a routine physical, gave blood and everything, and... Um, a few days later, they hit me back, told me to go to the emergency room because my kidney functions was low. Mm. And when I went to the emergency room, I was diagnosed with kidney failure. We've, we've, we follow you on social media and we see that you've been hitting the gym hard. Uh, is it something that could be avoided with a healthy diet and I mean, exercise? It's definitely, it's definitely something that could be avoided just, just by taking care of yourself first and foremost, eating right, uh, working out, and, and just keeping up with your position. You know, if I would have been... Uh, Keeping up with my precision and keeping up with my health like I should have been, I might have been able to avoid the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's important to make sure you take care of yourself. I was ripping and running and, and right. you know, always on the road. And, you know, I wasn't paying my health as much attention as I should have been. Right. You know? Freedom Fighters. Can you talk about that really briefly and, and just show the people or tell the people how they can get involved yeah, with Freedom Fighters? Philadelphia Freedom Fighters is my walking team with the National Kidney Foundation and we're doing it all over. Like I said, we did it in Philly, we did it in New York, and if there's any up and coming walks, we'll be there. And you can register on the uh, National Kidney Foundation website and come join my team. It's all good, man. We've seen that you've been, since with that issue, you've been doing walks and being aware and, sh and sharing that awareness with people. How has it been meeting uh, people that had your same uh, situation or going through the same things you did? How's that affected you? Know, you? I mean, it's, it's real. It's real experiences. You know, I'm meeting real people. Um, I did the kidney walk in Philadelphia like a month ago. Then we did the kidney walk in New York last Sunday. And New York was crazy. It was probably like five times the people of Philadelphia because you know New York is bigger than Philly. So, right. You know, it's good, you know, just to share my story, hearing other people's stories and, you know, just spreading the word about kidney failure, you know, and trying to bring awareness to it. You, sure. you actually hit it right on the head. This hasn't really stopped you music-wise. So what's some some things that we could expect from you in the near future? Any projects coming up? Or? You know, I got a, a new company, new rock Childs. My first artist and partner, business partner, Scolito. Come on, man. Come holler at the people, Yeah, we man. saw your rehearsal killer, man. <laughs> it's the new God MC right here. Word, man. word. So, you know, man, uh, we, we just finished my uh, my new album, Freedom. It's incredible. He's all over it. Nice. Uh, we probably dropped that sometime top of the year. We just dropped a mixtape called The Free Mix a few months back. Okay. Y'all could download that, a free download on that piff. And we just working, you know. We got new situations, and we got a lot of good things going on. We got the show, November 20th, which is actually a benefit concert. We taking some of the proceeds and benefiting it to the National Kidney Foundation. It's in Philadelphia at the Trocadero, November 20th. We're going to have some fun right now a little bit. Um, we'd like to ask some artists, what are three albums that, if they were in a, you know, in a burning building or a burning house, what are the three albums that you have to absolutely save? Oh my god. I know I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, I'm going to say Philadelphia Freeway, my first album. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say the Dynasty album. Okay. And I'm going to let him pick the last one. Yeah, pick the last one. Um, I would say All Eyes on Me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's, that's a good great one. one. Yeah. And where can the people find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at Philly Freeway, Twitter at Philly Freeway. Tell me your Instagram at Scottlito Envoy, S C H O L I T O E N V O Y. Twitter, Scottlito Envoy, and same thing for Facebook. Um, well, I, I I know a lot of my my friends are very jealous right now, but I just want to say thank you for doing this for us, and Anytime. we look forward for everything and anything you need from us. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love, thank everybody. You. Take care, y'all. Yo, holla at your boy. It's Philly Freezer holding it down with WaterIce.com. Your scoop to everything Philly. Make sure you log on early.